good? Yep. On April 20th, 1999, two Columbine High School students, Eric Carnes and Dylan Claiborne, went on a shooting rampage and killed many innocent students and left many injured. On May 25th, 2001, a psychotic boyfriend brutally injured his former girlfriend with a knife and chain over a breakup because he was becoming obsessed with rap star Eminem. These two incidents have one thing in common. All three suspects were convicted of crime, yet the media and parents blame music for their rage and insanity. It is said that everybody is held accountable for their own actions. My claim is that music cannot be blamed for one person's actions. I will be focusing more, focusing more towards the genres of rock and rap. This claim will be supported by these three main topics. Columbine shooting, rap against media and parents, and finally rock and rap music and society followed by the conclusion. This past April marks the nine year anniversary of Columbine shooting and still is making headlines nearly a decade later. Re-examining the possible causes of the tragedy, one potential that is highlighted by the media is music. The two shooters were noted as being fans of Marilyn Manson and Ramstein. Focusing on the band Ramstein, which is a German industrial metal band formed in 1993 that has faced many accusations of promoting violence. The Parents Music Resource Center, formed in 1985 by Tipper Gore, warned parents about the dangers of exposing their children to violent or sexually explicit music of such artists as Judas Priest and Sidney Lauper. But for 20 years, no one with at least national attention has blamed Cindy Lauper for the spike in teen pregnancy rates in the late 80s, which Ramstein and Manson should not be blamed for the Columbine shooting. Other observations of Ramstein fans in Dallas area confirm my belief, and hopefully yours, that there is no link between band's music and killing sprees. Caroline Burmeister, who is a regular in Dallas Lizard Lounge, which is a club that regularly plays from Ramstein, has yet to witness a fellow club goer shoot anyone. Ansel von Kenzer, who was the organizer and promoter of Lizard Lounge Gothic Industrial Events, explained that dark music does not produce a new breed of violence-prone people. Von Kenzer said, There are certain people that always have been to the darker side of life, people that liked Doors, Kiss, and The Damned in the 70s. And when Gothic Industrial came in, that was right up their alley and they just kept doing what they were always doing. Elizabeth Quinn, who is an exercise physiologist and fitness consultant who was who has worked with athletes for, athletes for over a decade said, music can alleviate stress, improve athletic performance, and improve movement pa patterns post-stroke, no matter what kind of music it is. This leads to the next genre of music I will be covering, rap, which is a form of hip-hop. Rap music is just telling us the way of life and how they live, says Nathan Kareem in the article, Rap Messages, Their Medium. He continues by saying, I do not believe that rap, that violence lyrics cause young people to behave violently, violence does. Hip-hop superstar Eminem rap chilling, raps chillingly realistic scenes of graphic violence, but he says to his fans that he should not be taken seriously, says Eric Nagorny in the article They Want Your MTV. Much of Eminem's lyrics are for laughs and not to be taken seriously, but there is much truth behind his music and other artists. For instance, in Eminem's song, The Way I Am, he says, when dude's getting bullied and shoots up your school and they blame it on Marilyn and heroin, <coughs> Where were the parents at? Which leads to other questions as, where did the gun come from? Eminem, Manson, another musician, and did they force them to pull the trigger? The media should not blame the music industry for jobs that parents are not fulfilling. As Eminem states in his song, Sing for the Moment, he says, they say music can alter moves and talk to you. What can a load a gun and cock it too? In the article, They Want Your MTV, President Bush had stated, the entertainment industry needs to police itself better, but the responsibility for keeping objectionable, objectionable materials out of the reach of children lies with parents and not government. Brad musicians Chuck D and Ice Cube have stated in an interview, taking, stated in the interview from Taking the Rap, Where to Draw the Line, said, Hardcore cutting edge lyrics are newsreels of inner city depicting ghetto realities in ways that have gone unreported. David Foster, who is a music producer, stated in an MTV interview in May of 2003, said one should look at family background of the person committing the crimes, which leads to what Ned Warham, an American composer who has educated at the University of Chicago Lab School, said, we are what we repeat. This forcefully brings me to my last topic, rock, rap, mu rap music, and society. Hip-hop is a music genre and cultural movement which developed in New York City during the 1970s, primarily among African Americans and Latin Americans. 
Both hip hop and rock were musical movements used by teens in order to express how they felt about a certain situation or an issue stated on wikipedia.org. In Manthea Diawara's book called In Search of Africa, it explains that hip hop is really a voice of people who are down and out in modern society. Rap music is a rapidly growing type of music and has gotten many poverty stricken people out of the ghetto. Rap and rock, including all genres of music, are a form of entertainment purposes only and actually give many teenagers an outlet, of, an outlet from life's problems. Much rap and rock sing about empowerment and positive changes. With what you have just heard from my speech, I hope you will take in consideration that music, all genres, are there for people's enjoyment and not another excuse for people's problems in life. And in conclusion, I would like to read a part of rap star DMX's song, Lord Give Me a Sign. Trapped in my mind, waiting on the Lord, or hunting with the word that cuts like a sword. Spoken word is stronger than the strongest man, carries the whole world like the strongest hand. Through the trials and tribulations, you never let us down, Jesus. I know you're here with us now, Jesus. I know you're still with us now. Keep it real with me now. I want to feel, show me how. Please let me take your hand. Guide me. I'll walk slow, but stay right beside me. Devil's trying to find me. Hide, hold, trying to find me. Hide me. Hold up. I take that back. Protect me and give me the strength to fight back. Lord, give me a sign. Thank you. No, not at the moment. Hang on a second. Hey, you need to go Michael, the claim is identified clearly. The phrasing is still negative in the way it's been put together. The preview is uh, basically a list of topics. I'll wait. The preview is a list of topics and not claims. And when you get to those secondary points, it's a little bit problematic. Especially on the third point, it's hard to tell what inference you want us to draw on that particular point. You have lots of uh, information that you're presenting. Primarily it is opinion evidence testimony. Uh, expert testimony in the sense that it comes from the perspective of musicians or listeners to the music. We don't have much sociological information about the impact that it might have an explanation about uh, how people might not or be influenced. The closest you came was one uh, person who's like a, I guess you describe them as an exercise guru and it relieves the tension. I'm kind of thinking, okay, well, that's the start of that particular point, but after that it just kind of goes back to uh, the um, anecdotal illustrations and then the testimony of uh, artists, for instance, who are asking valid questions and making the same kinds of claims as you, but it might be a little bit of circular logic without any other kinds of information to support it. I like the uh, song quote at the end to kind of summarize. Uh, presentation's a little programmatic. I think you need to have a little more variety and practice in the presentation. All right, thank you. Well, I got all that on.